out. Look at this. Oh my goodness. See in here? All that chocolate. Look at it. Mm -mm. Today at At Home with Miss Joan, we're going to make a chocolate pudding. If you remember the other day on my banana pudding recipe, I told you that I had a chocolate pudding that's real similar and you're really going to love it if you try this. And again, this is just ingredients that you have in your kitchen. You don't have to run for any, the town for anything. Sugar, cocoa, flour, egg yolks, milk, and vanilla flavor. And some vanilla wafers. And you can put together the best chocolate pudding you've ever seen in just a matter of minutes. Now what I've done here is I sprayed this skillet with a, a non-stick spray. And then I broke three egg yolks in here. And again, I keep referring to my banana pudding recipe but uh, I separated the egg yolks and I put the yolks in here and I'm saving the whites of the egg for my top or my meringue. So uh, I'm trying to cook on this little burner today so that I can look into the camera because my daughter keeps telling me I don't look into the camera enough. So I'm looking at you, I'm looking at you. So okay, we're gonna try to get this going. And I've got the egg yolks here and so I'm going to add two cups of sugar, which I've already measured it out. This is a non-stick skillet. And then two, two heaping, or two, yeah, heaping tablespoons of cocoa. This is just a regular tablespoon, not a real measuring spoon. But you can see, put two of them in there. All right sugar and cocoa and eggs, and then I'm going to put uh, three tablespoons of flour. Well, it looks like I forgot to get out my flour, but it will take but just a minute because I keep it close by. Here it is. This is what thickens it, okay? Three tablespoons of flour. One, two, three. Now, I'm going to slowly add to that a cup and a half of milk. Okay. The reason I put just a little bit of milk first is so I can get the lumps out of this pudding. Because this stuff here will want to lump up. Preacher may <laughs> open up the door because he don't know we're filming. And I hear the garage door going up. So, we'll scare him real good when he opens up the door. <laughs> You want to look into this or can you see into it? See, we're just making, like I told you the other day, and the banana pudding, it's kind of like a gravy. Just put hot pudding, oh boy, it's good. This reminds me of growing up at home. Oh, mama would make us one, and if she had vanilla wafers, she'd put them in it. If she didn't, it was just as good, poured over into a bowl with that meringue on it, just the pudding part and the white meringue, and it was delicious, especially if you eat it hot. This brings back, oh, childhood memories like you wouldn't believe. Now, if my pan is smoking here because I hadn't used this thing and Lord knows when. I think we used it back when we was canning. But anyway, preacher, has come on in, preacher, stick your head in. <laughs> we forgot to tell you that we're filming. Stick your head in and speak to everybody. Turn around and show them the preacher. The, there you go. Stick your head in. Hey, buddy. Hey, guys. How y'all? You're going to have chocolate pudding here in a little while. <laughs> good. Sounds good. <laughs> He's so sweet. He'll eat whatever I cook. He never complains. I asked him this morning, I said, what you want me to cook today? You craving anything? Oh, anything. Don't matter to me. You notice I'm still adding this milk kind of slow. This smoke coming out here is so <laughs> ah, that I'm trying to cook it on it. Needed a good cleaning. It, oh, anyway, here we go. Now I'm going to add the rest of the milk and just let it cook for a few minutes until it gets the thickness that I want to pour over my cookies, okay? This is an old time, homemade, just a few ingredients of chocolate pudding. You can make a banana pudding, you can make pineapple, coconut, anything you want to make. Basic ingredients is milk and eggs and sugar and flour and then whatever way you want to season it up now i'm going to add my cap full my signature cap full <laughs> vanilla flavoring that goes in so much stuff all right i i'm not used to 
this little eye here, but it's coming together. It's coming together. I hope. He's getting awful close. Now I'm going to try to ease over here and grab the vanilla wafers and put them in the bowl without scorching my pudding. Mmm, boy, that's good. Let's go throw some down in the bottom of it. Look that. That looks good. Most everything I cook is real easy, real basic, and just what I call old timey home cooking from scratch. Now, I after I pour this over in there, when it gets thick enough, you know, I'm going to make a meringue go on top of it and put it in the oven and toast it or brown it just a little bit. But I thought because the mixer makes so much noise, I wouldn't put you through making another meringue because it is on my banana pudding recipe. So if you will, uh, we'll, make, we'll try to link it here close by, but if not, you look up uh, my banana pudding recipe and it's gonna have this exact same meringue that I'm gonna put on top of this chocolate pudding uh, right there on that recipe and you can watch it. That way you won't have to listen to all that noise <laughs> of this mixer running here in a few minutes while I make another meringue. They're so easy, they're really easy to do. So anyway, this is getting really close and I will pour it over the cookies. Miss camera lady, am I looking at the camera good enough today? I'm getting a head shake that said yes, so I'm so thankful. Oh, this is something simple that you could just whip up right after supper. Y'all want something to dessert? Then uh, just whip up a Chocolate pudding. Okay, folks. I'm pouring. I'm left-handed, so I'm going to go right backwards from where the camera is. You may have to come over on this side. I'm stirring the chocolate all around in my cookies. And now, I'm going to stop and make them a rain, and I'll come back to you and show it to you at the end. Don't forget to look up the banana pudding recipe for the meringue. Be right back. All right, I'm gonna show it to you. See there how wonderful this is? You can eat it plain like this. You don't have to have cookies. Or you can put the meringue on it. And I'm gonna put the meringue on it, because we like it. like I told you the other day. You look that up. You'll know what to do. Mm, I'm bad about licking fingers. All right. Looks just like my banana pudding and stuff is chocolate. I'm going to throw these in around the corners here. You don't have to do that either if you don't have enough vanilla wafers. Don't worry about it. They'll still be good. Oh, I'm going to throw this in the oven. The broiler and let it brown for just a minute. Hopefully, I'm going to burn it. And we'll be ready. We'll be ready to eat. You talk about good with a glass of milk. Now, that pudding hot with a cold glass of milk, yummo, yummo. Okay, you know I can't put the broiler on without my song. The broiler's on, the broiler's on. The brawler's on, Miss John. The brawler's on, the brawler's on, the brawler's on. I keep these handy. It's a little tip. That way you can always close stuff up. It's nothing but it's just a clothes pin. Works great. You don't have to have all the fancy things. They sell everywhere. The brawler's on, the brawler's on, the brawler's on. Miss John. The brawler's on, the 
the brawler's own Miss Joan. Brawler's own, the brawler's own, the brawler's own Miss Joan. The brawler's own, the brawler's own. Oh yes, close, close, and that was in real time. The brawler's own Miss Joan. Oh, I can hear it playing out in the backyard as a kid. Coming in for supper, peeking through the screen door. Oh, I've done it again. Peeking through the screen. Oh, but you can smell because the door was open. I'm smelling one of these cooking. Oh, we talk about smelling good. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna reach right up here, get a little bowl, and see what we can do about pulling out some of this pudding. I bet I'll get Preacher back out here in a minute, what you think? All right, look at this. Oh my goodness. See in here, all that chocolate? Look at it, mm-mm. This is so good. You learned this right here at, at home with Miss Jones. She gonna reach in here and get a spoon and just Imagine that you had a bite of this. Mm -mm. Wow. Try this, would you? You learned it right here at home with Miss Joan. I love y'all.